Hello and good afternoon. Hi, my name is Terry Rajnath and I'm the Neuro Rehab Coordinator at Quantum Rehab and Nursing. And I'm Ricky Palomo, the Neurological Rehab Coordinator at Emerge Nursing and Rehabilitation. As the weather warms up and we rush outside to enjoy the sunlight, we must also be very careful as this is when the risk of heat stroke or heat illness is at its highest. Heat stroke is the most serious heat-related illness and occurs when the body can no longer control its temperature. The body's temperature rises and the sweating mechanism fails. The body is unable to cool down. Heat stroke can occur within minutes and the body's temperature can rise to 106 degrees or higher. There are many symptoms related to heat stroke. They include headache, nausea, dizziness, weakness, irritability, confusion, and thirst. It is important to note that these symptoms separately may seem small and innocuous. However, if action is not taken to address the excessive heat that the body is feeling, major damage can occur to the brain. In most severe cases, seizures, altered mental status, and even entering a comatose state can occur from a heat stroke. Prevention is easy. Limiting exposure to sunlight by seeking shaded areas, when outside and drinking plenty of water. Wear appropriate light colored clothing, headwear, or, and sunblock. If you work outside in the hot weather, be sure to take time to acclimate to the heat. Limit exposure to direct sunlight and slowly lengthen the time in between rests. May is Stroke Awareness Month. Heat stroke may be different. However, there's still damage that can be sustained in the brain if preventative measures are not taken. Keep yourself informed and safe during the hot weather so you can fully enjoy the spring and summer seasons. From us at Paragon Management, thank you for joining us.